What is up guys? My name is Lex. Welcome back to the vlog. I am so excited to share this video with you guys. It was the craziest poker game I've ever played in my entire life. We play the biggest pot. We cash out for the most money and profit the most money we've ever made in a poker session. I am super excited. Hope you guys are ready. Let's get started. There's a $15 straddle, a call. I have king, queen of diamonds in the cutoff position. I raise it up here to $60. The small blind makes a call, and now the big blind puts in a three bet. He re-raises me here to $260. A little background on this guy is we're going to be playing a lot of pots with him. He sat down with about $5,000. He looks like he's ready to gamble and mix it up. The under the gun straddler calls $260, and given this price in position with a great hand, I make the call as well. Small blind puts in the chip, so we go four ways to the flop. First hand, he here at Texas Card House, we see a queen high board making top pair king kicker. Small blind checks, big blind, the initial three better now checks, under the gun checks, and now I have to decide whether I want to bet here or check. And ultimately, I decided to check for pot control and for some deception. And looking back, I don't really like this play. The turn card is a seven of hearts, and now the small blind leads right out, but for a small sizing, only $200. Big blind, the action player who 3-bet me pre-flop makes the call for $200. Under the gun folds, and now I feel like I'm going to have the best hand here a lot of the time. I don't think the small blind's going to be leading for such a small sizing with a strong hand, so I decide to raise it up here for value. I make it $750. Small blind very quickly gets out of the way. However, the action player in the big blind makes the call, so almost $3,000 in the middle going to the last card, which is the 10 of clubs, probably one of the worst cards in the deck. The obvious straight ace king gets there which is definitely a hand that he can have three betting out of the big blind however i think he would be c betting that on the flop and this guy has been caught bluffing now three times for very large sizing on the river so after thinking for about two minutes i decide to flick in the call and we get shown the bad news Jack-10 offsuit for two pair. My very first hand, I'm down about $3,000, so I head to the cage and add on to my stack for $7,000, so now I have a little over $8,000 on the table. At 9 p.m., one hour into my session, I look down at Ace Queen of Hearts, a beautiful hand. There's a $10 straddle, a call. I raised to $50 before the small blind, the same player from last hand who got there on the river with us with two pair, puts in a three bet again. He raises me up to $210. The early position limper makes the call for $210. I'm $8,000 effective with the action player in the small blind. I think I could be putting in a 4-bet here. However, I like to play post-flop here in Texas and try to navigate that way, so I decide to make the call as well. So we're three ways of the flop. Queen, seven, nine, two diamonds. We flop top pair, top kicker, and the small blind leads right out for $725. A massive bet under the gun plus two folds. And I think to myself, man, am I going to give this guy another couple thousand dollars here? There's no way I can fold a hand this strong, but maybe we're getting cooler by aces or kings. I'm not going to like it. If he continues to put a lot of money in this pot. With all that being said, no way I am letting my cards go. I make the call. The turn is the jack of spades. And now he snap checks over to me. I feel like he most likely just has a one pair hand here. Possibly ace king. So I don't want to bet too big. I want to keep him in there with all of his weaker hands or one pair hands. So I bet $750. After thinking for five seconds, he makes the call over $3,000 in the middle. We're looking for a brick river, which we get. It's a three of hearts, and he checks over to me. I think I should be going for value here, trying to get called by weaker queens, maybe a jack. So I put out a bet, $1,100. The small blind doesn't think for too long and puts in the call. I show ace queen to win a massive pot here. We started off the session losing about $3,000 of this guy, but we got it all back and a little bit more. We have a stack over $11,000 thousand dollars now just one hour into our session i'm thinking to myself this is going to be a crazy one next up i have nine seven of spades raised to 35 dollars and now the big blind puts in a three bet he raises us to 125 dollars the same guy from the last two hands he must have it out for us he must want to play some big pots maybe he just wants to make the vlog i don't know but he's three bet us now three times not going to be folding he's got about four thousand dollars left so I make the call. Heads up, in position we see a board of jack, 10, deuce, two spades. We flop a straight flush draw. This is a huge, a massive flop for us. Now the big blind continues for $250. If this guy was capable of folding, I might put in a raise here, but he does not like to fold. So I'm just going to call, try to realize my equity. The dealer collects the chips and puts out the eight of hearts on the turn, the money card for us, giving us a straight. Before I even realize what I have, the big blind leads right out for $500. 
holding a straight against an action player in a three bet pot who does not like to fold. We are going to be putting in a raise here. He has about $3,500 left, so I bump it up to $1,700. And before my chips hit the felt, my opponent in the big blind jams all in. He goes all in for $3,500. I obviously make the snap call, ask him if he wants to run the river out once or twice, and he says one time. So we're playing a huge pot here with the second nuts. Don't pair the board. Don't bring in the flush. We see the king of diamonds on the river. I show the 9-7 of spades and it is good. We got extremely lucky to bank a straight right on the turn when my opponent most likely had either a set or an over pair. We end up stacking him to get our revenge from that first hand. Our stack has now risen to over $16,000 at a 2-5 game just two hours into our session. The action player adds on for another $5,000. There is so much money on this table, so much action. We're straddling to $15 to $25 preflop, so the game has been bumped. No Nobody wants to fold. Everybody wants to play a big pot. It is getting wild. At 11.53 p.m., there's a $25 straddle under the gun. There is three callers, and I'm in the big blind with pocket kings. I raise it up here to $200. The straddler calls, and all of the limpers call. So we go five ways to a $1,000 pot, which comes out nine, four, deuce, two spades. Going five ways to the flop at a position with a huge overpair is a recipe for disaster, especially when you're super deep. So I decide to check on this board for some pot control, and the action checks all the way around. The turn is an eight, and I'm just going to try to check here, get to showdown, and checks all the way to the cutoff. Who puts out a bet? He makes it $500, and this guy had been playing pretty solid all night. I don't really like this spot. I think he could have turned a set, maybe two pair, but it is possible he could be semi-bluffing here with maybe Jack-10 for a straight draw. Maybe he's just betting a hand like Ace-8 or 7-8 for protection, given the fact that everybody checked to him twice. Facing a $500 half pot size bet, I definitely cannot fold my hand the way I played it, but I'm not really liking this spot. This player has been playing solid the entire night, so I feel like he's going to have a pretty strong hand here. I make the call, and the hijack player makes the call for $500 as well, with only $200 left in his stack. Playing another massive pot here, over $2,500 in the middle. The dealer collects the chips and puts out the river card, which is the king of clubs. We make top set the nuts, the best hand possible. I decide to lead out small here for $700. With such a strong hand on the river, I don't want to let the action check all the way around. So I bet out small here and now the cutoff goes into the tank. He thinks for a while with about $6,000 left in his stack. He reaches for some calling chips and then reaches for some raising chips and puts in more money. He puts in a raise to $2,200. When my opponent raises on this river, he's representing the nuts, and I thought I had the nuts with top set, so I immediately get sick to my stomach that I must have misread the board. There must be some odd straight that got there, or maybe a backdoor flush, so I study the board for a while, trying to see is there any hand that beats me. After about 30 seconds of squinting and going over all the possible combinations, I come to the fact that no, I have the nuts. Pocket Kings is the best possible hand you can have here. My heart rate starts to settle down knowing that I am always going to be winning this pot. I glance over at the cutoff stack with a little less than $4,000 left. I'm almost positive he has a set of 9s or a set of 8s, so I'm going to be going for the max here, and I rip it all in for $10,000, covering my opponent. The cutoff looks visibly frustrated. However, he puts in the call. I show Pocket Kings for top set, and he shows Pocket 8s for a set as well set over set for the biggest pot i've ever played in my entire life with all the money in on the river the pot was almost fifteen thousand dollars which is just insane just about three years ago i was playing two or three hundred dollar pots at one two and now we just won the biggest pot of our life fifteen thousand dollars being shipped our way a huge cooler for my opponent holding the third nuts versus the first nuts. Sometimes the stars align to lose the maximum and then sometimes the stars align to make the perfect storm to win the biggest pot of your life. It was a $25 straddle, five callers, he turned to set and I rivered the offsuit king to win the biggest pot of my entire life. I feel like I'm in a dream right now. 
My stack is over $24,000. Back in May, I recorded vlog number 23, which was the biggest win of my entire life, profiting $8,000. And tonight, after stacking my chips and counting them, I realize I'm up over $13,000 at a 2-5 game, which is just insane. The table is still action. There's still a ton of money on the table, so if we keep running good, there's no saying how much we can make. At 12.17 a.m., I look down at pocket queens, make it $50 over a limp, get three callers, so four ways to the flop ace high which is not the best board for us so i check and the action checks all the way around the turn card however is pretty good for us it is a queen giving us a set with two flush draws on the board not blocking any top pair holdings when it checks to me again i put out a bet of 200 dollars and unfortunately everybody folds this time but cannot complain another pot is going our way at 12 19 a.m i'm under the gun with pocket tens another premium big pocket pair i make it 50 dollars i get a call from an action player on my left and the big blind makes the call as well queen seven four two spades there is an over card to our pair but against these players i definitely think i can bet here and get called by a lot of worse hands so i put out a bet of fifty dollars i get one call and one fold the turn is a three of clubs i bet a hundred dollars he makes the call the river is the deuce of clubs i bet 150 dollars and he calls i show pocket tens he shows a seven and we're good. My goal for the month of February is to get to 40,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. So if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button to get weekly poker videos just like this one. $25 straddle in this next hand. I just over limp the button with Jack-9 offsuit. I'm running so hot. I just wanna be playing every single hand. Four ways of the flop of Jack-10 queen all diamonds so we flop a pair in an open-ended straight flush draw small blind bets 25 under the gun makes it 100 under the gun plus two calls i'm not going to be folding a straight flush draw so i make the call as well we're three ways of the turn the dealer gives us the six of diamonds on the turn giving us a nine high flush which doesn't seem too great however it is the third nuts only the ace of diamonds and king of diamonds beats us the action checks over to me i definitely should be betting here to try to get value from a straight two pair or a set so i make it 250 dollars under the gun quickly folds and under the gun plus one folds as well so we keep the trend going running hot this session winning basically every single pot since the first pot we lost it is now 12 52 a.m and i pick up jack 10 offsuit there's a 25 dollars straddle i raise to 75 dollars in the cutoff and get three callers we see a 10 high board giving me top pair jack kicker I feel pretty confident about my hand to put some money in the pot so I make it $125. The button makes the call, the small blind makes the call, and the big blind makes the call so nobody is scared going to the turn four ways which is the eight of hearts. They check over to me again. I size up to $400 now. It is possible someone can have top pair with a better kicker like queen 10, king 10, or ace 10. So if I get called here, I'm going to be treading lightly on the river, but it doesn't come to that. I make it 400 and everybody folds. This session started off a little rocky down $3,000, but since that first hand, we have been running extremely well, winning every single pot we put money in, running hot, making some hands, getting paid off, and also not really being put into any tough spots. 101 a.m. I'm in the straddle with Jack 10 offsuit. There's an under the gun plus one blind raise to $50. There's two callers and I make the call as well. So we go four ways of the flop. The player to my left is an insane action player. He is super fun to play with. He blind raises. He makes really light call downs and some crazy bluffs. So when the flop comes queen deuce deuce, I check. He checks. The action checks all the way around. I decide to bet $100 dark before even seeing the turn. The dealer puts out the three of hearts, which doesn't help help us at all so now i'm kind of regretting my hundred dollar blind bet the under the gun plus one initial blind razor makes the call his range can literally be anything here the other players end up eventually folding the river is the seven of hearts bringing in that backdoor flush i do have a heart in my hand so i block some potential flushes that he may have so i decide i'm gonna go for a bluff here and just pray that he folds uh, you know, fucker. i call, I call? Jack high. Oh. Two. You should not have a deuce. Come on, man. How do I know you have a deuce? I don't know. Because that's how the fuck I play. Hello. Hello. You, you Something you. long. Welp, we tried our best to bluff, and of course, it didn't work. A crazy hand develops here where the first action player I played those big pots with loses his entire stack to the crazy action player on my left. So this is insane. The guy who's blind raising playing every single hand now has $7,000 in front of him. 
At 1.26 a.m., we're now playing four-handed. I raise to $50 under the gun with ace-king. The action player to my left with $7,000 in his stack makes the call. And now the small blind, a European pro, puts in a three bet to 250 bucks. We have a very standard four bet spot here, but this time I decide to just make the call. I'm not really interested in battling against another professional player. I want to play some pots with the action player on the button. If I put in a four bet, he may fold his cards, which would just be terrible. So I make the call and eventually the button makes the call as well. Three ways to a flop of king, 10, five, two clubs. We flop top pair, top kicker. Small blind leads out for $300. I think I have a pretty standard call here. And unfortunately, the button makes the fold. The turn is the three of spades. Now bringing two flush draws on the board. Small blind checks. I think he's gonna have queens and jacks here a lot of the time. And against that range, he basically only has two out. So we don't have to protect from much. So I decide to check this one back for deception, hoping that he'll either bluff the river or he'll call us down lighter. The final card pairs the board. It's the 10 of spades and he checks over to me. I feel pretty confident I have the best hand. I think he'd be leading out with a 10 on the river and I don't think he's going to have many flushes given the fact that I have the ace of spades. So I decide to put out a bet, $725 and he makes the snap call. King, I have four or five. My opponent eventually mucks his cards, which means the chips are going to be pushed in our direction. The action player to my left ends up leaving, so the table breaks and we are left with a $26,000 stack at a 2-5 game. The biggest stack I've ever had in my entire life. The biggest cash out ever, buying in for $11,000, cashing out for $26,000, the biggest win of my entire life. All right, guys, that is it for this one. We broke three records tonight. First one, most I've ever profited in a poker session, $15,000 worth of profit in a single poker session, by far the most I've ever won in a single session. I think my record before this was like a little over $8,000, so we basically doubled that. I also broke a record of the most chips I've had on the table. I had a $26,000 stack when I cashed out. $26,000 of my own money sitting there. I think my record before that was like $13,000 at the lodge. So $26,000 stack and also the biggest pot I've ever won in my life. Pocket Kings versus a set of eights there. Set of her set, I think it was like a twelve dollars or $13,000 pot. The biggest pot I've ever won, the most chips I've ever had on the table, the biggest profit I've ever had in my entire life, all captured on the vlog to show you guys a crazy session like the perfect storm. The table was amazing. So many action players, so much money. People were not afraid to put their money in. I was making hands. I was holding up. I mean, like, it's just super lucky. I am just, like, incredibly grateful. I don't even have any other words just to say, like, holy shit, $15,000 worth of profit. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Comment down below if you have any questions or anything like that. And subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Get me to 40,000 subscribers. That is it for this one. Until next time, I'll see you.